Hello and welcome to Managing Across the Life Cycle or MALC. This next set of slides will be the introduction for MALC and I'm very happy to be here with you. My name is Dr. Suzanne Van Hove and I will be your instructor. This course is the capstone course for that IDLE Expert Certificate. It's going to focus on the strategy, planning, and measuring of IDLE practices. And it really is going to focus on the understanding and the interaction with the life cycle phases, processes, functions, their individual and collective interactions and interdependencies. So basically, it's everything. How does that relate and how do we use this to our benefit? Lastly, please understand this. You are expected to apply very high level concepts of project management and application design to the concepts that are discussed within MALC, even though these concepts are not going to be directly taught in the course. That sounds kind of weird, doesn't it? Well, quite frankly, anything that we do within service management as a service manager, we're going to deploy the elements of good project management, whether we do it uh, on, on purpose or if we just get lucky and follow that CSI model of planning uh, and then uh, figuring out where do we want to be, where do we want to go. And that same principle of the CSI model or Deming's PDCA will apply in project management as well as in application design. The objectives then for the course, and as a result of taking this course, you're going to be able to discuss the key concepts of the service life cycle, communicate um, and, and manage the stakeholders, identify, communicate, and manage stakeholders. You're going to be able to integrate the service management processes across the service life cycle. And I think that's one of the most important things that we can talk about. We don't deploy these processes in individual silos. That's wasteful and it's not effective. So now we're going to start demanding you see the relationships between these various processes as well as the service life cycle phases. We also want to be able to talk about and ensure that you can manage services across the service cycle from the concept of how does a new or change service impact the strategy, how do we go about the design activities, the transition, the ongoing support and operation, as well as the improvement initiatives. We should be able to discuss governance and organizational structures within, um, that have been defined within the best practice guidance. You should be able to ex um, execute various measures and metrics, understanding what we're measuring, how do we go about it, and how do we actually manage those measures. And lastly, we should be able to implement and improve that service management capability. A lot of words in that one, but quite frankly, once you have gotten through these concepts within MALC, you should have the big picture understanding of what service management as defined within a service life cycle, is all about. The prerequisites for this course are very strict, so you must have the following. You have to have an IDLE Foundation certificate, either from 2007 or 2011, or from an earlier version and the bridge. The bridge is no longer um, in place, so because that bridge class is no longer there, um, and if you have not received the 2007 or 2011, you're going to need to sit that class in full. So that's two credits. Uh, additionally, you're going to need another 15 credits from the idle intermediate courses or the complementary courses. Um, those 15 credits, you could take all five service life cycles. You could take, um, you know, a, any combination of those intermediates, life cycle or capabilities, and or have some of the complementary courses. The complementary course list can be found at www.idle-officialsite.com. Those 17 credits are mandatory. The five credit class, or the five credits that you get for the successful completion of MALC will give you the necessary 22 to achieve that idle expert. Lastly, to help you with this course, we highly recommend that you have the five core life cycle volumes, the five idle volumes that you can review, reference, and read, or 
purchase uh, my complete guide, or the study guide, to MALC. That link, both of those links, can be found in the course materials tab on the course page. Before we go any further, we have to do the registered trademarks and copyrights. And because they are registered trademarks and copyrights, I have to read them directly. So bear with me for a moment. IDLE is a registered trademark of the Cabinet Office. The IT Infrastructure Library is a registered trademark of the Cabinet Office. The Swirl logo is a trademark of the Cabinet Office. Diagrams that have been reproduced in the slides and in the study materials and the student materials have been reproduced under license from the Cabinet Office. They all hold the Crown copyright for 2011. More is a registered trademark of the Cabinet Office. Okay, so what are the topics? This is a rather lengthy course and you need to be prepared for the number of modules. We're going to spend a lot of time on practical exercises as well as the discussion of exam topics or exam questions, how to take the exam. Uh, the exam is case study based so we're going to spend a lot of time talking about how do we analyze that case. So to support all of those activities from that practical viewpoint, these are the topics that we're going to talk about. We're going to review service management. What does it mean when we talk about value? And we're going to talk about the various components and roles of value and roles across service management. We're going to talk about risk and key knowledge concepts. We're going to do that case study analysis. And this is one of the most important things that you will do in preparation for the exam. We'll talk about how to implement, assess, and improve service management. We'll talk about the assessment frameworks and specifically we'll spend a great deal of time on the seven step improvement process. This is an area that you need to spend a lot of time on because nothing it seems like as we talk about in this MALC, um, in this MALC course doesn't hit that seven step improvement process. We'll also talk about justifying improvements uh, from a financial viewpoint, looking at return on investment and value on investment. We'll talk about managing organizational change. We'll then continue through a discussion around measurements. We'll talk about metrics, monitoring, controlling, and supporting of services. We'll also talk a lot, and this is required learning, about the integration between strategy and the life cycle and the phase inputs and outputs. These are mandatory tables that you need to learn, and we will provide and go through them with you. We'll talk about the, the integration aspects and the value to the business each of the processes provide, as well as the process interfaces. We'll talk about the requirements and the cross lifecycle support in terms of managing services, as well as the accompanying challenges, risks, and CSFs. Those challenges, risks, and CSFs are straight from the five volumes for each of the processes. It's required learning. We'll talk about the concepts around governance, organizational structures, and organizing service management. We'll talk about how do we manage stakeholders and how do we communicate across the organization and enterprise. So we have a great deal of things to talk about and they are really the more managerial side of service management. In the previous classes that you've had from that intermediate perspective, they've been very specific to process and the process activities. Now we're going to combine that and we're going to talk about how they all integrate. You've seen this diagram before where we have the foundation class that the successful completion allows you to follow either or both a mixture of the intermediate life cycle and capability classes. Once you've achieved the necessary 17 or more credits, you can then sit managing across the life cycle. Successful completion of managing across the life cycle awards you the idle expert certificate. You can continue on from that point and pursue the Idle Master. To learn more about the Idle Master, go to www.idle-officialsite.com. 
So uh, the materials that you should download before you start reviewing the various um, lectures and videos is make sure that you do get that um, student guide. It's from the course materials tab. And make sure that you get the exercise guide. We will be going in and out of that quite often. The uh, sample papers will also be in that section. In the course material tab, there will be links to where to get the life cycle books, as well as where to uh, purchase the complete guide to, uh, for study for the managing across the life cycle course. If you're ready, let's buckle in and let's get started. We're going to have some fun. <laughs>